The law must be firm, fair without discrimination, without manipulation. In politics and the various interests that are raging, the law must function truly so that the order of life can be formed in an orderly, safe, equitable, and dignified manner. A view that would later become the forerunner to the establishment of the Faculty of Law at Yarsi University. Established in 1989, the Faculty of Law at Yarsi University dedicates itself to training and educating its students to become a generation of legal experts who are able to contribute in various lines and legal professions with integrity while adhering to Islamic values. Prioritizing aspects of legal design and legislative regulations that are integrated with all fields of legal science, currently, the Faculty of Law at Yarsi University organizes six specialty programs in the form of civil law, criminal law, constitutional law, state administrative law, international law, and procedural law. A dynamic educational atmosphere is created based on outcome-based learning, OBE, using the student-centered case method, project-based learning method, which combines theoretical scientific aspects and practical abilities. Interdisciplinary thought is also developed in particular courses that accommodate to the development and dynamics of government and community needs in synergy with the independent learning policy through the MBKM curriculum. To support an optimal educational process, the Faculty of Law at Yarsi University possesses competent and qualified teaching staff, graduated from national and international universities, as well as practitioners from government institutions such as the Ministry of Law and Human Rights of the Republic of Indonesia. Equipped with various sophisticated and integrated facilities such as legal drafting laboratory, criminal justice system laboratory, and moot court or moot court room, which are intended for lecturers and students to carry out the teaching and learning process and equip them to practice their understanding of procedural law. Achieving good or by accreditation by the National Accreditation Board for Higher Education it shows that the Faculty of Law at Yarsi University is trusted to be able to provide legal knowledge and expertise to its students, which is also in line with the vision and mission of the faculty to create a Faculty of Law that has a high-quality Islamic perspective and is capable of competing at the Southeast Asian level. As a place where scientific foundations are built, the Faculty of Law at Yarsi University always encourages and supports all brilliant achievements, as well as accommodating students to experience all forms of global collaboration with various partners both nationally and internationally. Along the way, many quality and integrity alumni have been born from the womb of the law faculty of Yarsi University and have contributed actively in the fields of law, education, diplomacy, and the business sector in various corners of the country. Fakultas Hukum Tasyarsi dirancang untuk melatih dan mendidik mahasiswa berdasarkan standar kualitas tinggi dengan tetap mengedepankan karakteristik rule Islam yang menjadi nilai utama Universitas Yarsi untuk mampu berpraktik dalam berbagai profesi hukum baik dalam konteks government institution, private sector, maupun civil society. Fokus unggulan di Fakultas Hukum Tasyarsi adalah pada aspek praktik yakni perancangan hukum yang terintegrasi dengan semua bidang kekhususan ilmu hukum. Tentu keunggulan ini didukung juga dengan pertama, fasilitas mutakhir seperti Laboratorium Perancangan Hukum Terintegrasi Fakultas Hukum Tasyarsi dan Laboratorium Sistem Peradilan Pidana Terintegrasi. Kedua, dosen pengajar dan praktisi yang berkualitas tinggi. Ketiga, dukungan mitra kerjasama yang strategis Satu di antaranya adalah Kanwil Kementerian Hukum dan HAM DKI Jakarta. Dan keempat, kurikulum berbasis Merdeka Belajar Kampus Merdeka yang menjadi jargon utama bidang pendidikan tertinggi. The presence of the Faculty of Law at Yarsi University is a form of commitment to continue to be a milestone in maintaining the framework of social life in Indonesia so that it remains standing firmly in a tough, fair, and dignified legal framework.